I have the Google Pixel 2 XL here running the third beta of Android Q. And today I wanted to show you how to enable Google Assistant whenever you have the full screen gesture option enabled. So in the Android Q Beta 3, Google has gone in and added yet another gesture system. So we have the classic three button with back, home, and recent or overview. And then we have the two button, which is what we saw in the original Q beta. And now we have the full the fully gestured navigation option which will remove that back arrow and just give you a line at the bottom so it's interesting between these three things so when we have the three button navigation bar set up we're going to tap and hold on the home button to bring up the Google Assistant when we have the two button navigation option selected the same thing except this time we're tapping and holding that small pill and this is something that a lot of people have gotten used to since switching over to this new navigation gesture navigation system however whenever you set this to the fully gestural navigation that removes the back button it shrinks the navigation bar and then it gives you this long, thin pill, so to speak, that you can swipe up from. You can swipe and slide to go to different apps from the Recents menu. But you can't tap and hold it and activate Google Assistant. And many people thought that that was weird that Google would have that feature there or that Google would remove that feature because they are, you know, promoting Google Assistant as much as possible. Some have uh, suggested that they are going to just rely on the Active Edge Squeeze feature of the Pixel devices and that this gesture option is only going to be available for Pixel devices, so it's possible that they want people to rely more on that squeeze gesture than anything else. However, there is still a gesture in place on Android Q whenever you have the full screen gesture mode enabled that will let you activate Google Assistant. And to do that, it's actually a swipe up from the corner of the screen, but not a swipe up so fast that it actually brings up the app drawer. You actually just want to swipe up from a corner and just kind of let your finger sit there for a minute. It can take a few seconds or a few tries to get the hang of it. I know whenever I first started to try this out, I was swiping up the application drawer more often than not. But then when I realized that if you go a little slower and then kind of hold your finger right above the dock, then it will automatically bring up the Google Assistant for you. So there you have it. That is how to activate Google Assistant on Android Q whenever you have the full screen navigation option enabled.